Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my review for In Time, the new film starring Justin Timberlake and Amanda Seyfried. This movie has a really cool plot. It really does. The whole plot around this is that after you grow up to be 25 in the future, of course, you actually evolved so much that after you grow up to be 25, you stay the same for the rest of your life. So whenever, whatever you look like when you're 25, you will stay the same like that for however long you live. The thing about this is, you also have time. So right after you grow up to be 25, you have one more year to live. And the way you get more time is to work for it, pretty much. And that's a really cool premise. You can live up to 1,000 or whatever. I mean, it's stupid, sure, but it's a really cool concept. Here you follow a character named Will, played by Justin Timberlake. And right, right in the beginning, he's not really doing so well. I mean, he's really fighting just to get another extra day to live. And so is his mom, played by Olivia Wilde. Uh, and right in the beginning, something really bad happens. Olivia Wilde, his mom, uh, dies. And, of course... He's really upset. So what he does after that is he goes to a bar, he gets drunk, and I don't know where this guy that has years and years, like over a hundred years to live, gets beaten up, he saves him, and this guy just says, you know what, I don't want to live anymore, so he transfers him to his time to Justin Timberlake, and now Justin Timberlake's character, Will, has all this time. So what he does with it is that he goes to the big corporate place that does all this stuff with the time. He goes there and tries to end it all. And when he's there, he meets the daughter of the big business guy there, played by Amanda Seyfried. And, of course, they fall in love and kind of form a Bonnie and Clyde relationship. Because when he takes her hostage, he, has to, he actually has to take her hostage. Uh, they actually grow a bond, they like each other, and then they just work together to pretty much set things right and make everybody be able to live, not just the rich people. So that's the plot. I will say this, I really like the plot. I actually really like the characters too, and the acting. Uh, Justin Timberlake and Amanda Seyfried, in the beginning, wasn't caring for them. They definitely grew on me later on. I really like the characters, uh, and I bought the romance, I did. Um, I really like them. Uh, you have Killian Murphy in the film also, who... Uh, you've seen in many films. He was in Inception, The Dark Knight, he played Scarecrow, and Batman Begins. Uh, he's a great actor, and here he plays he plays a time cop. Yeah, that's right. He plays a time cop where he has to go and pretty much see why Justin Timberlake, out of nowhere, has a, over 100 hours. I mean, 100 hours, that's not that much. Uh, that's like five days. Uh, 100 years to live, and he has to investigate this thing where this guy pretty much killed himself and blah, blah, blah. He's the time cop. He's after him for whatever reason. And, I mean, there is a reason, but... Whatever, I'm going way too far into this. Anyway, he's great in the film. Everybody else does a really good job. Of course, this has to be a all-young cast, so you don't see one 35, 40-year-old in the film, or even older than that. So it's all young cast, and for the most part, they all are really good. You also have uh, that guy that played uh, the main character in Beastly, that horrible movie that came out earlier. I think his name is like Alex Pettifer, who plays another villain in the film, and he's actually surprisingly good. I thought he was going to be horrible because Beastly is a horrible movie, and he did a horrible job in that. And from what I heard, he was also terrible in that movie, I Am Number 4. He's a I thought a terrible actor, but he was actually decent in this. He plays a villain in this. Uh, he does a good job, and the movie's just entertaining to me. I mean, there's a lot of talking places, you know, talking points in the film, but for the most part, it's not a boring film. The dialogue's decent enough to keep it going, and all the little robbery scenes, because, of course, the main two characters are robbing people just to... They're doing the Robin Hood thing, you know, they're robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. Uh, and some of those things are really cool. Uh, the ending is a little bland, and there is some dialogue that is pretty damn cheesy. Like, and there's some characters that are actually very unlikable and very, very bad actors. But for the most part, it was an entertaining enough movie. I really did enjoy it in time. I'm going to give it a 31 out of a 40. I really enjoyed it. And also... You put Olivia Wilde and Amanda Seyfried in a movie together, and you don't have them make out. If that happened, not only would my balls explode, I think my head would first implode, then explode, then reform back into its original self, then do it all again about 15 more times, because that would be probably the hottest thing of all time, because they are gorgeous in this film. And, of course, one gets killed off right in the beginning. I'm like, okay, I guess we're never going to see that. So, And also, it's a PG-13 movie, so... But you def definitely get to see Amanda Seyfried naked a lot, so... Well, not naked, but, you know, half naked. Anyway, she's hot. Uh, anyway, movie's fine. Whatever. Justin Timberlake did a good job. 
31 out of 40. I'm going to leave it off there. Uh, also, look forward to tomorrow because I'm going to have a special thing for Gore's Month of Horror. It's going to be number 15, but it's going to be special. It might not even be a review. Oh, it could be something. So look forward to that. That's coming up Sunday, tomorrow. And uh, Monday, I'm going to have a big Halloween special. There you go. Just want to give that and throw that out there. Anyway, 31 out of 40. I know I was a little off on this review. I know I, 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 know I was, but uh, yeah. Whatever. I, a lot of stuff happened. I, I'm still recording playthroughs for games and stuff and blah, blah, blah. I'm getting ready for a lot of stuff, so you have to let go of this review if you really wanted it to be good because it wasn't. So, anyway, there you go. 31 out of 40. Go check it out. It was a decent film. Really fun, actually. Thank you, and goodbye.